Is there a tissue around as well? I've just got like. I've got two in there. Hey, what? <laughs> no, that's okay. I do not. We'll send somebody. That's out. okay. I mean, it's just a Zoom call. I'll have a bit of snot come out now. All right. Well, first of all, we are with Kayla with George and Kayla. Why don't you first introduce us to uh, who you have there with you? Yeah, sure. Hey, guys. Um, this is my daughter, Pearl, or in my American accent, Pearl. <laughs> um, she's seven and a half months old. And she's excited to be here like her mother. Excellent. Uh, so you had a couple of other uh, since the WNBA, Phoenix and Dallas. What sort of different now about the league or what's different about your experience now? Yeah, I think the league or the game itself is forever evolving. And I feel like it's just getting better and better. And um, there's obviously, um, you know, it's the best. Thank you. Appreciate you. Sorry. A bit emotional today on media day. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I think this is the toughest league in the world. So, um, you know, the best players are here playing. Uh, and so it's exciting to be back. I think the the Aces new training facility that you've all seen is super impressive. Um, and I'm just really happy to be here and to be a part of that, um, you know, setting the benchmark for where other teams, you know, want to go. Amen. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, happy Mother's Day, one 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 day late. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about, you said, you know, obviously you um, were away from the WNBA for a while. I think you talked about this on the last Zoom. How do you feel like the league has evolved even in the time since you first came in to now? And, and how, at this point, does your game fit in with, um, with what this team needs? Yeah, I think um, in terms of just the equality piece and just the women's game getting seen, I feel like it, that happens quite slowly, although we'd love it to happen faster, but I, I certainly see that there is progression on where the leagues come. Um, so that, that's really a positive sign, but um, I feel like it is quite slow. That's not just in the league, that's everywhere all over the world. I feel like sometimes, you know, the media can hype it up to, you know, that the equality is like, you know, it's the same or it's getting there. But I think that, you know, the pace can be a little faster. That's, you know, what I, we'd all love, you know, the push to be a little quicker, but it's it can't be that way. It's gradual. And, you know, we're just here grinding it out and pushing for better for the future, which is what it's about. And that's part of being a female athlete, the grind to to be seen and to, to push for better for the future athletes coming through. Um, and for me, uh, coming back into the league, what I bring, I mean, I'm, I just turned 34 uh, on May 1st, so I certainly haven't matured off court. I still act like I'm 24, but on court, I definitely feel like I, I, I've matured. I um, feel probably better now than I ever have in my entire career, physically and mentally. And um, I mean, I just won the WNBL MVP just recently, this last season in Australia, um, and I just become a new mom. I had a a nine day old heading to my first season as a mum, and she was giving me a lot of great perspective and I played really free and, and, you know, I just, I'm happy to be here and, and give whatever I need to in whatever role um, that I have in this team, you know, a red hot crack and obviously quite a stacked team in my position in particular or all across the board, but to be having, you know, Candace as my teammate, Asia, you know, getting to play with Kelsey and Chelsea is just unreal, phenomenal passes. Um, so just, you know, playing my bit and doing whatever is necessary um, the standard Aussie way, you know, just happy to be here, want to work hard, do what I need to do to help us win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi, Jonas. Matthew? Hey, Kayla. So I, I just want to start with, has like the last seven months been like the best seven months of your life between having a kid, winning MVP, coming back to the league? I mean, just what a whirlwind it's been, like how that you just sort of handle all the emotions of the last year or so. Yeah, I think it's probably closer to two years. Like I won the championship the year before um, with the Melbourne Boomers in Australia. And then I had the World Cup bronze medal. And then nine days later, I got my daughter. And the lead up to getting my daughter and to prepare for the World Cup was pretty a pretty cool time as well. Um, and then obviously, like you just mentioned, the rest of it. So I feel like, as I said, you know, having a child gives you great perspective on life and, you know, mentally when you're just worried about yourself, it can be a little bit consuming at times, especially if you're an overthinker. And I think a lot of people are in particular athletes, you know, we're always our own harshest critic, but um, with a child, like I can't be concerned with all that stuff. I've got to, well, when's her next feed? I've got to change her nappy. I've got to put her to sleep or, and, you know, I get home from a, a bad game or whatever, and she's just smiling and just so happy to see me. So it certainly gives me great perspective and having her in the crowd and, um is is probably my favorite thing about being a mother just being out having her watch my games is is pretty incredible and then I just wanted to ask you as you've sort of gone through the last two weeks having played in the preseason game how you feel like 
you're fitting in with this group, both from a basketball sense and, and in a chemistry sense? Yeah, so I think chemistry wise, we're all sweet there. I'm a pretty jovial person and, um, you know, just a bit of a larrikin. So I think this group's got great culture. So I'm just trying to add to that because um, they obviously were quite successful last year. So um, Pearly thinks that too. So um, yeah, and in terms of on court, like I feel like, you know, I like to facilitate and, you know, space the floor with my three point shooting. So, um, you know, whatever Becky has me out there to do, I'm, I'm happy to do um, whatever role she needs me to do. But uh, I think, you know, just, with being, like I said, 34 and a bit more mature, I see the game a little differently and and I'm probably not as hard on myself mentally um, when it comes to games, which is... Uh, and I was really happy to to play in the first game the other day, although I, I didn't hit a shot. I think I had a, one free throw, but um, it was nice to get on the board and get those nerves out and get the legs ticking over. Um, so happy uh, happy for the season to start this weekend to see my fellow Aussies in Seattle. Mr. Duncan. Um, hi, Kayla. Nice to talk to you again. Um, as, as you get like better in status across multiple leagues at this point, how do you approach your offseason? How do you approach development? Is it about adding something new to your game or is it now more about refining the skills that you already have? I think it's certainly a little bit of both. For me, um, I think, you know, I started doing reform of Ed Pilates and that was a real game changer for how I moved and how I felt in my body. And, and you know, when you feel good, you play good. You look good, you feel good, you play good. As cliche as that sounds. So, I feel like that has really played a big part in the last few years. I might just pass Pearly over just one second. Um, and so, um, sorry, what was the question again? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I just got a bit distracted. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, in terms of how you handle your off season and I guess development in general, oh, is yeah, it more about trying to add something to your game or refining what you already do and just trying to do that better? Yeah, so definitely, I think 70% of it is trying to just refine and, and do the things I do well even better. And I, I feel like no matter how old I am or whatever level I get to, I still want to always be coached and get better. Um, although, like, I have had a lot of experience and I like to, you know, help out younger ones, put them under my wing and, like, you know, talk it out. I definitely still want to learn and be coached. But, I mean, I'm, I've put in, I've tried to add some, you know, little photos to my game in the recent months before I came here. So um, I think I had a little photo at training the other day. So, I mean, ask the girls about it. It was pretty nice. I'm um, not sure it will come out super frequently in this league, maybe when I go back home to Australia, but certainly not um, afraid to add any new things either, but definitely always sharpening up what I'm quite um, good at and, and wanting to get better at that. Always looking to get better, always. Paul? Thank you. Doreen, um, it's great. That it was, Paul's grown so much since I last saw her. She oh, hey, Ozzy, how are you? <laughs> really good, really good. I think the last time I saw you was in Sydney when you were playing the Flames. Yeah, um, right, would have been, yep, that's it. Yeah. Um, first question I've got for you is, um, you know, you, as you said, you're the MVP for the WNBL, you know, you're a clutch player and a, and a natural leader. How do you find that your role is going to um, evolve in, like you said, a stacked team like you're in? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> so for me, um, I'm honestly so stoked to be here and to be back in the league. And um, I, I actually didn't ever see this for me once my last stint in the league happened. I, I was quite content with just doing my house renos <laughs> and playing for the Cairns Dolphins in the NBL one, you know, um, and, you know, teach. I was, I was playing with my younger sister there. So that was kind of cool. Um, I was quite content with life as it was kind of heading and, um, you know, to get this opportunity, it was too too silly to say no to. Um, and I feel like I belong here. I, I don't feel like I'm an imposter at all. Um, and I feel, you know, my role will be in typical Aussie fashion, whatever it needs to be to get the wins. Um, whether I'm playing 20 minutes one night, five minutes the next DNP another, I'm not really too sure how it's going to look. Becky has never coached me before. Um, so we just, you know, we've, I've been here three weeks now in a training camp. I feel really good. Um, but as I said, we've got a really stacked team. So, you know, if Asia needs a quick breather or, you know, can't, whatever, if, you know, if I'm just there waving a towel, cool, uh, let's do this, let's win this thing. So, um, again, just really happy to be here, represent, you know, my country, my family, and obviously the Aces. And also, you mentioned the game against Seattle. It's going to be a bit like old home week for you. Yeah. In that game with, um, you know, Izzy, Sammy and, and Jade up there as well. Yeah, it was actually really great to see Sandy after the New York game. We went and had some dinner, which was which was lovely. We just rattled off about some Opal stuff and 
just had a big old catch up and it was really nice just to see my fellow Aussie. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to seeing Ezzy, Sammy and Jado. Um, stoked for Jado to be on the roster and, you know, she's still so young and got such a bright future ahead of her. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with those girls and giving them a big squeeze. Um, we'll probably have dinner after the game and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped and I'm the only Aussie here. So anytime I say anything, like I just get, it gets mocked back to me. Like I said, banana the other day. So now it's banana, everything. I'm like, do I sound like that? Or I said that I never have sweat towels. I don't like to take towels on the bench. And now the, they say never, ever. I'm like, oh gosh. Um, so it's fine though. I just don't have any other Aussies to like, you know, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm getting attacked or anything. It's fine. I can handle it. Um, but my accent obviously is quite different over here. So, um, no, that's great. <laughs> That's great. Have a great season. Thank Alan, you, mate. And looking forward to watching you play. Appreciate you, mate. Good to see you. Thanks. We will let you head them off. Have any Thank you. I think Pearl's crying. Thanks, guys. Yes. All right. We should be back with Sydney Colson momentarily, followed by Kelsey Plummer.